battle athlete. Hey, what's up? Um, I'm alive. I'm, I'm, I'm still here. This is a video I actually wanted to make like maybe a month ago, but then I hurt my back and then Hurricane Harvey hit Southern Texas where I'm at and uh, it's been kind of shitty. So, yeah. So there's this shrimp restaurant located in China that was giving out discounts based on boob sizes. The discounts range from anywhere from being A cup with 5% off your meal to G cup that would get you 65% off your meal. They would even have a waitress come up to you and, and discreetly give you the discount to make sure that women weren't uncomfortable. The best part is, is that their discount sign used League of Legends female characters to show the different bra sizes. But apparently enough people had a problem with it to where they had the restaurant take the sign down and remove the discount. I don't think it's really that big of a deal. I could see where somebody would be offended, but the thing is is that it's really optional. And to me it's no different than ladies night, where ladies get into clubs for free. Except for women getting in for free, it's just a discount. And I think this encourages busty women to come to the restaurant, which increases traffic and... I don't know, I just don't think it's really that different from ladies night. No, not all women had a problem with it. In fact, apparently more bustier women would come in and they would be really proud of themselves and enjoy their discount. I can tell you this though, if they had a uh, dick discount for dudes, uh, you better believe I'd be rolling up in there and getting my 35% off, ladies. I mean, hell, when Chick-fil-A gives out free chicken sandwiches for people that show up dressed like a cow, you better believe I'm putting on my cow suit and rolling in there and getting my free chicken sandwich. Hell, if I was a chick, I'd go and stuff my bra and then just walk out with my 65%. I mean, how are they going to know? They're not going to check my boobs. Man, I am really cheap, aren't I? Look, man, the economy is really tough right now. I'm broke as shit. It's the YouTube adpocalypse. Things aren't going so good. I will totally stuff my pants with a sock to be able to get a discount at a shrimp restaurant in China. Now the funny thing is, is that meanwhile, while this is going on in China, in Australia, this is going on. Play in Melbourne is protesting the gender pay gap like we've never seen before. One week out of every month, men pay an 18% premium. The tax is optional, but so far, no male customers refused. The cafe called Handsome Her also has priority seating for women. One week out of every month, we have an 18% premium for men, which is the same amount as the gender pay gap. So far, none of the cafe's male customers have refused to pay it. Staff say the gender tax isn't aimed at excluding people, but rather educating them, with proceeds going to charity. If people are uncomfortable with paying it or men don't want to pay it, we're not going to kick them out the door. Like, it's, it's just a good opportunity to do some good. That's right, a man tax. I just think it's weird that where one place is giving a discount, people shut that one down, but in Australia, where they're charging men specifically more, that's okay. Now here's the thing, I don't think either one of these things are wrong. Namely because neither one of them are mandatory. You don't have to get your discount for having uh, big boobs at the shrimp shop, and you don't have to pay the man tax at the trendy feminist restaurant in Australia. They're both options. One gives you a discount and the other one is going to a good cause. So it's like, I don't really see the problem. The man tags thing doesn't sound any different than when Firehouse Subs asks you if you would like to round off your meal to uh, donate to the local firehouse in the area. It goes to a good cause. You don't have to do it, but if you choose to, you can. Every time they ask me, I'll go, yeah, sure. I'll help out the fire department because uh, who knows? Next. I mean, my, my, my place might be on fire, and I might need some help. Feels good to give. Honestly, I was just curious about what you guys thought about this. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. Hopefully people don't get too mad at me.